Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel, Twin Flame Reconnection. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about five twin flame signs. This is how you will know that this is a twin flame journey for you. If you're new, welcome. And if it's been a while, welcome back. So what are some of the signs? One is energy rushes in your body. This is something that only only happens to people who have a true twin flame connection. That twin flame connection is moving inside you. It's stimulated from your higher 5D self. And many people who I work with say, why is this happening to me? Well, it first happens so that you can shift patterns. This is patterns of behavior, substance abuse, addictions, addictions to other things, codependencies, relationship patterns, genetic patterns, family patterns, and really deep biological DNA patterns that otherwise might wind up doing you harm or killing you. So that shift of energy inside you sometimes can come in a rush, frequently called a Kundalini rush. It's not just Kundalini though. This energy can originate from other timelines and even from other levels. And you'll see as you move along that you can sometimes sense it's coming from other levels. Number two, downloads, what are called downloads. You suddenly receive some flash of information and energy. It's combined with energy. It's not just a flash of your mind. It's not like a mental flash. It is energetic in nature and it's telling you something. It's giving you a message, but it's sort of infusing right into you. And this comes in and it can feel like it's coming down, but you're actually ascending up into it. Okay. Number three, you feel instances of what you could term telepathy. Now this has multiple levels, but the very first level is the mind as it's been attached to, to the collective. That's where it can get real confusing. This is why I recommend a session, particularly my spirit chat session. You want to know what are you really supposed to get? Is this just gobbledygook? Is it just from the mind of the collective? Is it usable for you? Is it something you're supposed to follow or do? So telepathy, true heart communication, should actually carry aspects of love. And when it does, definitely, that is so twin flamey, there is no going back on it. The next thing is signs that you're being supported by the universe. Now this one's a little tricky because the higher your vibration, the more you get. But as you leave certain levels, you can feel like you're pushed, you're disregarded, you're persecuted. When the universe is supporting you, it hits so many of your senses. You can literally hear music playing in your body. You can smell things like a scent on the breeze. People seem to show you their best side because it may not be sustainable. It may be only for a certain instance. You need to learn to work with your light body so that that is happening for you 99.985% of the time or as frequently as possible because you will keep ascending. And the next thing that is a sign that you are a twin flame you feel like you want to be kissed. You want real things in your life. And I don't just mean kissing or just by anybody. It means that there's something inside you that's telling you you're here to be in love. You're here to be with someone. In the 15 years I've been doing this, I've had so many people that that's been their childhood directive, like from the inside out. I'm just here to be with someone. And it's that simple, but not just anyone your real love, your real twin flame, who has the exact matching etheric body. It's a feeling. You want real stuff. You want real tangible things. You want the physicality. It's not enough for you to think that this is all ethereal. 
and it's not. So thanks so much for watching. Please see the links down below for more help, coaching, energy sessions, healing, and the integration of your brand new light body with the connections that you need for feeling 5D love. Thanks so much for watching. Happy 2024. Bye now.